All right, well, this is Dylan Moran. He's three years old, and he loves dinosaurs and playing with his four other siblings. That's right. However, he's also fighting a battle for his life. Now, I spoke with Dylan's family about his fight in a story you'll see only on 10. It's three-year-old Dylan Moran's favorite word, and this silly little guy is in high spirits these days, but it's been a rough couple of months. He's not just hanging out at the doctor's office. This is life or death. Back in June, parents Caleb and Alicia Moran noticed Dylan's lymph nodes were swollen. Doctors originally thought it was mono until they saw his white blood cell count. They were like, mm, there's really only one thing it could be. And I'm like, okay, you know, and he said leukemia. And the diagnosis turned even worse as doctors found a mass in Dylan's chest. It was a football-sized tumor. Can you imagine that? A football-sized tumor in Dylan's three-year-old body. Now, he was immediately rushed to Wims and Children's Hospital here in Lafayette for treatment. Catastrophic illnesses require sometimes catastrophic treatments. Dr. Amar Barad is in charge of Dylan's case. Dylan was in a medically induced coma. His parents didn't see him open his eyes for a month. We, I, we didn't even ask permission. We just decorated the whole room with pictures and, and T-shirts. And we would talk to him as if he was our son, because he is. The football-sized tumor was gone, but his body was weak. One of his lungs had failed, and doctors weren't sure he would make it. And it took almost an entire team to come to his rescue, and we've managed to pull him out of uh, the immediate crisis. After four weeks, Dylan finally woke up, but wasn't talking. I, I was like, why isn't my son talking? And they're like, well, we're not sure. We're going to check, you know, brain activity. So the Morans turned to the one thing they knew they could do to help their son pray. We taught our kids to fight for their family and and to go to God when you don't have an answer. Finally, after seven weeks in the hospital, Dylan was going home, but he still wasn't walking or talking. Actually, it was just me and his twin sister sitting in the room. And she looked at me and she said, Mom, he can talk. He can talk. And we were both like crying. And she said, I'm so proud of you, Bubba. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. No, you Dylan is now in remission, still getting chemo every week. But his life is finally starting to get back to normal. <laughs> and his parents say they're thanking God every day for their son. We had a great ending to this story. It's not over yet. That's right. It's not over. <laughs> Now, Dylan is this year's Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Boy of the Year.